Hi, I'm Jennifer Whitfield, and I'm a communication specialist for Bechtel. I am joined today by Brian Hartman, Bechtel's Corporate Manager of Engineering. Today, we will talk about Brian's exciting career in engineering. Brian, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Let's go ahead and get started. Did you always want to be an engineer? If so, what inspired that? No, my, my initial love was music. Uh, we always had an organ in the house as I was growing up, and when I was in elementary school, my parent actually gave me a saxophone, and, and after that, I was hooked. You know, but there's many close ties between the logic of music and that of engineering, while still providing that freedom of a structured environment. But you can go create new things from within the structure, you know, within the bounds of sort of that science. So it was a natural progression, you know, which was stimulated by the break of my band when I was in high school that I actually need to go think about something else. And engineering was it. You know, my plus to engineering was that, you know, I like taking things apart and putting them back together. And engineering seemed to be a good fit for me. What path did you follow to become an engineer? And can you tell us a bit about your career and how you progressed to where you are today? Well, while I was in university, I actually uh, joined Bechtel as a summer intern. You know, and, and I got to work around some extremely interesting people that were doing some very unique things in different parts of the world that I hadn't been exposed to. So again, that experience hooked me. Um, you know, being able to work on a myriad of different types of projects, using all the skills at my personal disposals, and, and some of the things that I actually learned from my coworkers uh, was quite adventurous. Uh, I worked through many of the engineering positions, including positions in design engineering, field engineering, and commissioning engineering as I progressed through my career. Uh, I was able to also work in our business development organization, seeing how we bid and obtain new work uh, to move through. And, and I then also was able to work in both project and functional management that you know showed me how to execute work from cradle to, to completion of those jobs. Um, all of those assignments over my uh, career has contributed different things to sort of my overall skill set. And, and I actually currently use all of those skills in my corporate manager of engineering and technology position. Which project or assignment are you most proud of? I have quite a few assignments that I'm proud of, mostly because of the challenge they provided and, and the opportunity they gave me to continue learning and growing as a person. However, the one that I'm probably the proudest of is actually not a project that uh, I had any direct impact or influence on. Uh, that project was the Kazon Power Projects in the Philippines. Um, it was a power job that we did in a remote area of the Philippines. Uh, when it was built, it was very, very remote. It would take our teams like eight to 12 hours by bus just to get to the job site. So very remote for our teams that worked there. But I had the opportunity many years later to visit that job site. It was still a four hour journey for me in a car. But when I realized that the roads that I traveled on were lighted and paved, um, when I got near the job site, there was a thriving community around the job site with people that were working and kids that were playing and, you know, just parks to actually you know, improve people's quality of life. You know, it was a stark difference uh, to what was there then uh, to what was there when the project was originally conceived and constructed. Seeing that actually made me extremely proud to be working uh, for a company that could make the, the type of impact to the communities that they're surrounded and actually have an impact to people's lives. So as you know, this week we are celebrating Engineers Week and the theme is Imagining Tomorrow. As we imagine tomorrow, Bechtel's engineers will be at the heart of the solutions to improve the resiliency of the world's infrastructure, to increase access to energy, resources, and vital services, and make the world a safer, cleaner place. What is Bechtel doing to imagine tomorrow to make the world a better place for our colleagues, customers, partners, and the communities in which we work? Well, well many of our projects um, we are doing is actually helping them make the world safer, cleaner, and, and a more efficient place. You know, we constantly challenge ourselves to be more efficient in the materials that we use for construction, uh, 
Uh, our core businesses each have projects that directly support the concept of making the world a better place. Uh, the company in itself supports stewardship programs such as Discover E, Engineers Without Borders, FIRST, and Junior Achievement. But in the end, how we deliver those projects, how we actually imagine the solutions to the challenges of the world, what we actually do to improve upon what has actually been done before, uh, is up to the ingenuity and the talent of the people that we assign to perform that work. Um, so it's really up to us as a community uh, working for Bechtel and the projects to actually come up with those solutions to help move us forward. It's incredible what our people can do. What advice would you have for early career hires who might be pursuing a career in the technical excellence path? So my advice is first to take care of themselves. Um, you really have to become good, um, actually no great have to become great at something, right? So don't try to get a wide base right away. Really try to figure out what you're good at. Then when you figure that out, help other people become great at that thing while you're taking the opportunity to learn from other people that may have become great at something different. You know, for the technical excellent career path, you need to focus on something that you like, that you feel enthusiastic about learning more at, and then learning how to improve it and actually show others your knowledge and show others those improvement. It doesn't mean that you have to stop learning uh, everything else, uh, but you become the person that, you know, people want on their team when that opportunity arises. Um, the other thing is, you know, for the technical career paths is that you should reach out um, to existing people like the Bechtel Distinguished Technical Specialist and the fellows to ask them about their journey in the company and how they got to the positions that they were in. Um, I know they'd really love to hear from you. What would you say are some of the best resources that have helped you personally along the way? Well, the best resources for me um, has been our fellow coworkers. You know, Bechtel has a culture where people feel really excited to help others on the team to know what they know. Um, so it actually will help the team achieve greater things than they could achieve, you know, by themselves. You mentioned earlier some of our stewardship programs at Bechtel. Let's talk more about giving back. Do you participate in any volunteering efforts within your community or what other ways do you give back? Well, I like volunteering and I like doing things like helping people at uh, my local church and other organizations. But my actual joy is helping young people uh, discover the wonders of science and, and seeing that spark of curiosity take hold that, you know, it's something that they could just grasp and go, wow. Um, as I mentioned before, you know, Bechtel stewardship programs can provide those structural uh, opportunities for you to contribute if you don't have any of those other places to go to. Um, but then the Bechtel resource groups are always looking for volunteers for you to help with their outreach program that they've actually already started. So uh, those are the things that I participate in and, and try to you know focus in on how do I actually help that next generation of engineers see uh, what actually can occur from their knowledge. That's so inspiring. Last question for you. What does being an engineer mean to you? For me, it actually means that, you know, I can be one of those people that other people look to to solve problems, because that's what everybody's concept of an engineer is. You know how to solve problems, right? But actually, mostly it allows me to, to talk people into letting me take their stuff apart and put it back together, which is one of the real things that started me on this track to engineering is kind of I like doing those type things. That concludes our podcast. Thank you so much for joining me today, Brian, and talking about your career in engineering. Thank you.